ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCAST episode number 596. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by the man who lets his Crocs do the talking, Wombat. Sabotage. You're supposed to just be dead silent and let the Crocs do the talking. Sabotage. I will sabotage this show. And now you're making a reference that nobody knows what you're talking about because they didn't hear what happened before we started recording. The I show. know that is actually I'm I sure don't people, e- I don't even know what we're talking about. People will know what I'm talking about. They'll get the reference. They won't know that you referenced it before the show. Right. So what's the point of even mentioning it? Because it's funny. To who? Me. But what about Shipwreck? He has no idea what you're talking about. Ah, fuck that guy. I have much more respect for Shipwreck. I want him to know all the jokes. <laughs> and maybe the some members of the audience should know. So the uh, in the 70s, during a recording of the Star Trek cartoon show, uh, William Shatner was in the booth, and he kept pronouncing sabotage wrong, and he would say sabotage. No, no, I under, I, but people know that. They don't know yes. why you said it. Because at the beginning of the show, Chibi said, don't be a dick like William Shatner. And that was... So here we are. Now everyone knows. Shipwreck, what's happening right now? I don't know. <laughs> I as as I said, um, How, as, what does this have to do with with Wombat's tie dye oh, Crocs? <laughs> Wombat and I had breakfast this morning. Yep, so very we could do like our, good, our, a good fellas style Long Island breakfast. So we could do our ritualistic annual mm-hmm. exchanging of the E three swag, and. Yeah, you know, we had a lovely breakfast, a lot of fun to present the uh, the goodies. And as we were leaving the restaurant, actually, we were outside the restaurant. I hadn't noticed, but I looked down at Wombat's feet, and he's wearing tie-dye Crocs. Mm-hmm. And boy, that was like a shocking revelation. I don't know. Was, was it the Crocs or the tie-dye or just the combination no, of no. the two? No, no. It was those two things, but also they look... I understand that you demonstrated to me that they fit you properly, but they look like clown shoes. Not not just the colors, but like the size. They look very big on your. They on do your feet. look big on me. They kind of. They kind of. I, I understand that. And Crocs, I wrong. think, are maybe supposed to look big. I, I mean, they so. are big and chunky. Yeah. But so. I was just like I was speechless. What did I say when I? I, mean, <laughs> I don't remember what you said, but I you do realize that it was a conscious decision to wear them this morning. Well, of was course. it a conscious decision to buy them? How did, how I did, did you? Not bu- I did not. Oh, I no, those were not purchased. Okay, that was not a purchase. That was pretty much unasked. No, Crocs. <laughs> review no, clog. Uh, the review review they, clog. They uh, <laughs> d- for for my job job. They uh-huh. sent a box to the office. Sent a pair for everybody. And that was the one that was in my size, basically. <laughs> right. So. So he wanted he wore them because I don't know because I knew that Chibi would see them and be like, "Oh my god, what is on your feet?" It took me the whole. It took me. I almost missed them, but I know you did almost miss them, which would have been disappointing. <laughs> but <laughs> they delivered. If you're them. asking me, like, do I wear those everywhere I go? The answer would be a resounding no. Okay. Do I wear them to the beach? A hundred percent. All right. Do I wear them when I go to the uh, the JCC swimming pool? Okay. I do wear them in that situation. What about do a I temple? Wear them, huh? A temple? A temple, of course. <laughs> but do I wear them when I go to the supermarket? No, I do not. Uh, all right. That's yeah. So in water-based situations, you will wear them. Usually water-based or situations or where sand. shoes are not required. Right. Like, if, you know, I'm maybe there. if I was going to your house... Yes. Where I know that the shoes come off immediately. Yes. I might wear the Crocs. No, don't do that. You're not going to have socks then. You're not going to have socks on. That's gross. I don't understand. Just walk, on, just walk on your hands like a normal person. I, I guess. Mm, just wear, or I, wear shoes. Like I do have shoes. They're my <laughs> shoes too. Anyway, you're, I posted a picture on Twitter and somebody put it into a comic. And then like the author of the original comic retweeted it and it got... Hundreds of likes. Really? I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah. I saw the comic. I didn't see the hundreds of likes. Yeah, because I guess the author, the the original yeah, author no, of the I, comic I has it. half a million followers or something like yeah. that. Yeah. 
was funny. That's really funny. I wasn't in the in my. I wasn't tagged in it, so I wouldn't have seen. Right, it. right. We didn't care about you. Just those shoes. Just yeah. be glad nobody knew it was your. <laughs> those Seriously, your shoes. it's it's my picture. I I'm the one who gets the internet fame. <laughs> there it is. I see now six hundred and thirty four likes. Oh, why you tracked it down? Yeah, you were tagged in it. Yeah, well, I took the picture. I'm the artist. Yes, no, you're not. Oh, I guess because you took the yes, picture. Of course, so it's a photography's okay. an art, if especially you, when I do. And you say it's so. up your feet, <laughs> and they look like that. <laughs> so, how would you think of the E3 swag? I, it's, it's good swag. Tell tell the people what you got. Don't leave All right. Well, in my hand right now is my Borderlands Three cosplay tour keychain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I also good. have my Ghost Recon patch. Good. It's a Velcro patch. It has no backing though, which is kind of weird, but still a nice patch. That's the, I think you iron that on directly to your skin. It's but it's Velcro. Yes, you, well, you're very hairy. Oh, that's true. You have a point. It, it would it though, would uh, it would have fixed nicely to my chest. Yes. Um, I have a destroy all humans Xbox pin. Excellent. Which is also very nice. Um, I got a new headset from the fine folks at Lucid Sound. No, for me, the fine folks of at oh, the David fine Abrams. folks at Cheap Ass Gamer and Cheapy D. <laughs> the fine I, folks at uh, Lucid Sound didn't didn't carry it home with them on the airplane. No, they but they probably would have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I know. A half. Okay. <laughs> what else was in there? Anything? Uh, the head. So the headset was clearly the the highlight. I yes. feel. Um, what else is going on? You had the uh, Avengers. You had the Avengers. Um, the Avengers uh, VIP West thing, Coast which, lanyard. Uh, yes, which I put on Elliot's door, and he liked that because I told him he can use that to get into the Avengers Tower. Nice. Um, and I also there was also a Lego Finn, Finn yes. as in from Star Wars, mm-hmm. uh, that I also gave to Elliot. Nice. And a hat that I gave to Sabrina. And a T-shirt that's in the hamper. <laughs> Excellent. What was the, what ga- name the game from that supplied all those things? I could not if I knew. Shipwreck. Do you remember? Uh, is that Re Legend? Yes. Got Good it. Yeah. Because you only remember it because you got all that that stuff. Probably. No, I I remember it. You um, like the game because I like the game, mm-hmm. and I said that we are here for our port appointment with. Ari Legend. <laughs> they're like, they quickly told me how to pronounce the game. Then, right? It's not real. I'm looking at your legend. Twitter now too, and you you posted this robot from your uh, your supermarket. Yes, my local stop and shop. That's Marty. I know who that is. I've I've been in the factory where those are made. Oh, you can can you tell me about Marty? Sure. Well, I, I have a question about he's Marty. He's a badger. I know what that is. It's it's a badger robot. What does that mean? Just like that's the that's the brand. That's oh. what that is. I don't know that many badgers that are like six six. They're they're. A, I will say they're a little frightening. Yeah, it's like a monolith. Uh huh. And, and I I know that I know the story behind the googly eyes on them. I didn't even notice that. I was just saying, why is there a robot here that's as tall as me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's weird. Like I don't. People are frightened by other people that are as tall as me. Why that's is why the a... googly eyes are there. <laughs> That is, uh, uh, they did not used to have googly eyes on them. They they had to go uh, procure googly eyes. But that's just on the sticker. Nope, they put them on the devices too. See, but ours doesn't. Have, our Marty You're, doesn't have it. Uh, I can't tell from this picture. Yeah, it might be on the back side of it. He just looks like he's scanning, getting ready to to turn red and kill somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these guys go around and they scan the shelves to see like stock levels and everything, uh, and and check prices and things. And then they also uh, can scan and if there's a spill, right? They just start telling, like shouting out and beeping that there's a spill. They don't clean up the spill, right? They just uh, let another a person or robot know that <laughs> that there's a spill. Oh, um, soon soon the spill robot might show up. Hmm? The spill cleaning robot. I don't. I don't know about those. Right. I only know about about these guys. Billy. Yeah, Badger. No, Marty. Oh, that was Marty. Marty is, that's Marty. Okay. Yeah. Are they all named Marty? That's for Stop and Shop. They probably are. No. Well, yeah. I mean, that's one of the customers that they have for these right. things. All right. Did yeah. you see it moving? 
No, I would have run. <laughs> no, seriously. I was like, what the fuck is that so you, thing? You see that thing down at the bottom? I know I know, we're talking about a picture, but I'm assuming people it, can look at it. It looked, just imagine a giant, like, just imagine like a square box with a monolith tower on top of it. And now I know why it's so tall, so it can scan the high shelves. Great. Great. So, yeah, it's about six feet tall or so. Yeah. Um, easily. That See that uh, right in the front of this picture? There's that, like, round looking part of it. Yeah. That thing, like, spins like crazy when the thing gets going, too. Why? Uh, that's what's what's driving stuff, I think. I don't know. There, there's something there that uh, maybe it has sensors as well, but it, but it is it, it goes like crazy. Well, welcome to our terrifying future. Yeah, it's, my uh, my company, the same factory that these are made in, my company also makes stuff in. Gotcha. <laughs> all right, now we know all about Marty the Badger robot. Exciting. Good, it's good mm-hmm. to know. It's good to know. Mm-hmm. Um, it's my new world. Yeah, it's it's a good world. It sounds like it's a yeah. lot more fun than like helicopters jet engines, and shit. Yeah. yeah, jet engines and helicopters. That's not where you want to be. No, that's serious shit. Grocery robots and pizza <laughs> portals. <laughs> yeah, everybody can enjoy those. Mm-hmm. I want to hear about your axe throwing experience. Yes, we uh, we went out um, for dinner with uh, the partners at Gretchen's uh, vet clinic. Um, and then after dinner, we went to a place called Urban Axes. <laughs> uh-huh. it, it's a bar where you can throw axes. Yeah, there's one in Brooklyn, I think, right, Wombat? Sure. There's one somewhere yes. around here. Yes, there is. Yeah, so it, it's basically like darts, but you are are heaving axes. Except if, some, if you hit another customer, it kills the customer instead of just annoys the customer. Uh, I mean, maybe. Maybe. I wouldn't. I would not feel comfortable even being. Well, that's what that the beers place. are for. That's not gonna. Be, I, I would be very uncomfortable. I don't like it. You know, we're we're gonna go once you come here. Mm, maybe. We're, we're can I wear axe armor? Axe can I wear yeah, a Kevlar sure. suit? You can. I don't know if that's gonna stop an axe. I think you don't think a Kevlar suit would stop an axe. I. It would put a big problem in me. <laughs> it would still be a big problem. Right. <laughs> Uh, no, it, it's, I was shocked by, uh, how easy it was. Oh, I, you, I won good the at everything though. It's, um, it's easy yeah, but I, I didn't know, like I go in, I'm like, I don't, I can aim, but I don't know like if I'm throwing an ax, if it's going to stick in the wall. Right. It, it did almost every time. I have a feeling like if Wombat just got back from ax throwing, he wouldn't be like, I was surprised how easy it was. <laughs> You never know. You never know, but no, I would, it, it, seriously, what's that about? Why I'm, why are you a dick? I'm just saying No, I would why be su- are you a dick? I would be surprised if that happened. You don't know that. I don't know that if you I mean it, look, I'm not claiming to be That's rude. We should all be athletic athletic or sometimes. coordinated in any way. Look, I'm, I'm just, not going to Brooklyn, but that's rude. Is there one on Long Island? Probably not. not I yet. don't know. Look into could, it. Could, what if it was in the same place as a ping pong club? Can we get a ping pong axe throwing club going? Yeah, axe pong. Ping axe. I don't don't know, but that ping pong club that opened by Wombat's place, the one that's just like a a rip off of spin, we went there on the weekend in the afternoon and there was nobody there. It was me and Mrs. GB in the whole place. So it might be an axe club soon. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. Real axe throwing in Long Island. There's a bunch of them. I don't see. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't want to be around drunk people and I don't want to be around axes. And I really don't want to be around drunk people with axes. That just seems like logical common sense to me. Pretty good time. <laughs> All right. I believe it. Um, How about some show feedback? Is that a good time? Sure. <laughs> Are you still listening to the, to the show? Yes. Is this yes, a robot? This is a robot. Are you just dro- uh, playing sound robot. drops? Robot Badger. Is that what I am? Marty. Marty, the robot badger. Richard Kane has to say from two weeks ago, I like the new art for the podcast. Very reminiscent of classic game box design. I'm thinking classic Atari titles. Oh, that was uh, Banky. I asked Banky to make a little like fake flyer. Not a real flyer, but one that... It's not actually going to get printed for the uh, Long Island Retro, our Long Island Retro show. 
and it looks so cool. I was like, oh, can you turn that into, can you make it square <laughs> so I can use it as the podcast art for this episode? I guess it were, I wasn't sure that anyone would actually see it because I don't know how like, you know, how that art gets distributed. It's very, you know, if you have iTunes or whatever. 